Hello students, today's lesson is on area of compound shapes and a learning objective is to be able to find the area of these compound shapes. Now, uh, real life links, uh, SMSC and keywords remain the same and the equipment needed for today's lesson is pen, pencil, ruler and exercise. Now, we already know what a compound shape is. A compound shape is when you have two or more shapes which are joined together to create uh, another shape. And um, in order to find the area of compound shapes, we must split the shape into two rectangles. In, in this case, it will be two rectangles anyway. So, we've split it this way. And now we are just focusing on working out the area of each of those shapes that have been split or each rectangle so the first one we've got an area of 4 times 10 which will give us 40 centimeters squared and the second one we are going to use 8 times 4 which will give us 32 centimeters squared so now that we have the area of each individual rectangle and we want the total area we can now just add the two areas together and that will give us 72 centimeters squared. So the area of this compound shape was 72 centimeters squared. Now, here we've got the exact same shape and I have split it uh, or, or I've given it twice to show you the two different ways you can split it. Both of them are correct. Um, so it's up to you which way you want to do it. Um, but you have to be careful with which numbers or, or lengths that you use um, based on how you've split it. So the first one, we've done the split across um, horizontally. And so now we can say um, for the second one, we're going to do the split vertically. So if you notice the, the the area of each of those rectangles will not be the same. Um, so the area of this little uh, uh, rectangle in the corner is going to be 4 times 3 which is 12 centimeters squared and the area of the big rectangle is 4 times 11 which is 44 centimeters squared and obviously we could just add those together um, which will give us 56 centimeters squared. Now if you have focus on the, the compound shape on the right as we agreed it is the exact same shape um, but this time we have got two different areas of uh, 28 centimeters squared plus 28 centimeters squared. Now, if we have a look here, this is not four times three, this is four times seven, because we need to use the length along the left side, which has not been given to us, okay? And obviously with this rectangle, we have the correct length there, so it's four times seven, which is also 28. And if you notice, both areas are exactly the same for each shape. I want you to have a go at both of these. Um, so with the first one, there'll be one, one split. I'm sure you know where it is for the green shape. For the second one, you can split it each way. I want you to pause the video now, try the, both of those, and we'll come back together with the answers shortly. Okay, so the answer for the first one, we would have done all done the split vertically, and we would have had an area of 45 centimeters squared and an area of 20 centimeters squared, which would have given us 65 centimeters squared. And for the second one, we would have got 22 centimeters squared this way. And if you did the split this way, we would have got 10 and 12, which would have also given us 22 centimeters squared. Now, as long as you ended up with the 22 centimeters squared, either way is correct. Okay, now what I want you guys to do for this task, this is, there's going to be two main tasks for this um, lesson. I want you guys to pick any three from here um, and try those. So these will be go towards the picture that you take to send uh, and upload to class chart. So pick any three from here um, and, and have a go at those. Make sure you draw the shape with a pencil and a ruler and you label the sides correctly. Remember that in some situations there will be missing lengths that haven't been given which you need to work out in order to work out the area. Um, and then for your... Okay, now this is the second part of the main activity. Um, Jasper wants to recap his lounge and below is a plan drawing of the lounge. Um, what you need to do is draw the lounge out with a pencil and a ruler, obviously put the correct lengths in I would also find the two missing lengths uh, and just put those in as well. Um, now the cost of the carpet is £7 per square metre. How much will it cost Jasper altogether for the carpet? And then there's an extra additional question. Skirting boards cost £3 for two metres. How much will it cost Jasper to line the edges of the room with skirting board. So remember the difference between carpet and skirting board. With carpet obviously we're using area, with skirting board I want you guys to think about what it is exactly you're using 
um, and, and obviously what the cost will be for the skirting. Um, so work that out, take a picture of it at the end, upload it to class charts, ensure, make sure you have drawn a picture of the, the shape as well, and put a title for this main task to carpet fitting. And that's the end of today's lesson. I hope you uh, understood everything in the video. If there's any confusion, message your teacher via class shots and they'll do what they can to help. Um, that's all for the lesson. Thank you and see you in the next video.